you can actually get design inspiration from anywhere, and I mean anywhere. Stacey McLennan joins us now to show you. Look at us. Yeah, for spring. For okay, spring. so let's have a seat in this gorgeous set and let's talk a little bit about how, you know, whether you travel or not, sometimes you just need to keep your eyes open, walking down the street, looking up, looking sure. around you, and notice the things that really appeal to you. Inspiration is literally everywhere, and I think when you're starting to think about a space, you want to be inspired, so you want it to be personal. Yeah. So I think take a photo of something that you see when you're out, and that's exactly what I did in the photo that I, I brought in today. So it was actually a bridge underpass, yeah. and um, very structural sort of look, but I love the contrast of the dark gray with the white behind. And so I just snapped a photo and didn't know when I was gonna use that. And then we ended up using it as inspiration for a kitchen design that we were doing, and the client loved the Isn't idea of a that more, cool. Yeah. So, like so you, exactly, you know, you you almost exactly did that contrasting between the colors, the beautiful X, and and it and it worked. But and I think something what's good about that is that you have that beauty now in your home. You right. can you can look at it all the time, and yeah. it's always going to bring you back to a good place. Absolutely. So I think the key thing is when you're looking for something to inspire your space, it has to be personal. So yes. it has to be something that means something to you. So. Like even a scarf, for example, that can really be the. Can you pick that up for us? Yeah. Uh, sorry, Al, if I took that away from you, but take a look at the scarf. You know, we all have that piece of clothing. It could be a pair of shoes. It could be a. Uh, it could be a scarf. But you actually had a client say to you. I really love this. Now make it into a yeah, room. Exactly. Yeah. Right? It's pretty dramatic, yeah. Oh, to live that life. I want to be able to do that with a designer one day. But, but you did turn it into a room. Yeah, literally, you can, it can be anything, a piece of clothing, um, anything. So this is what we've pulled together, what this space might look like if you were actually to take it literally and turn it into a room. So yeah. lots of mauves and pastels and pinks and, and dark blues and really sort of resembles what this looks like so you can find your inspiration anywhere and I think the key is make it personal because if it's yeah. something personal you're going to relate to the space and you're gonna love it absolutely okay what are we being inspired from in this is this uh, my is, is beach this hat, hat? Yeah. <laughs> okay so, so we take this and we're like okay let's make this a kitchen right now what do you <laughs> maybe not a kitchen maybe not a kitchen but what do you think of when you see that hat uh, well, you've got yeah. some zebra stripes, I, I some feel animal like stripes. Breezy, like I, yeah. I can almost picture linen blowing through a room. I think of a beachy beach house, you know, yeah. really sunny. Um, so I brought in lots of natural linens with some faded black, so it really picks up on that black stripe and natural elements like the bleached wood, a little bit of a distressed look. So very casual, beachy feel, mm -hmm. wools and cottons and linens. So lots of airiness to it. And I feel like that could totally reflect that hat. It does. So not a specific interpretation, but you're taking the mood and the tone doesn't have to be and yet. you're moving with it I think that's great absolutely I want to talk about this photography now uh, so this is actually these are pictures you took they are so this actually these photos are what inspired this space so I actually took these on a road trip with my husband we were uh, out west in Banff and it was a sunny day and we were in the car I was in the passenger seat taking some photos and as we were driving a drop of rain hit the windshield so it was sunny then it rained and then it poured and I just kept taking the photos and when I got home I thought this is kind of a neat idea yeah. I'll use this to inspire the space so we had these hanging in our living room and that's really the starting point for this space so Lovely. we wanted to do a dark wall to contrast against the large white mattings mm -hmm. and then I did the large white mattings so that the art became the focal point and that was the inspiration for the room and then taking that dark wall color we implemented that with these beautiful furniture pieces from LT and then contrasted that with the white sofa so really everything started from those photos yeah I love that I love that you were able to do that I mean that's a story now that lives on your walls and actually pretty inexpensive to take right. your photography it's all about the framing absolutely and then you want to pick up elements in in that so mm -hmm. the wood of the frame for example ties into the element coffee table from LT so yep. this really truly was the inspiration for this whole set very nice yeah. you've got the light you've got the dark gorgeous rug as well uh, beautiful light beautiful fixtures lamps, yeah. and you've got some really nice mixed metals happening as well absolutely so pick your starting point when mm -hmm. you're designing and and be inspired and it doesn't have to be like a lot of clients will show us a photo of a space and say this is the space I like yes. and is it the feeling that you see when you look at that space that's what you really have to think about so make it something personal and you'll just end up loving your space so don't just go to the showroom and say I want right. that <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> sometimes that could be you have a connection to <laughs> exactly.